Hi, my name's Keith Janice, and I have the privilege of serving as the senior adult pastor for First St. Charles United Methodist Church. My little friend Hoppy and I would like to invite you to our devotional. As we begin, we light our candle, which we've done many times over the last year or so. The light of the candle reminds us that Jesus is the light of the world and that he's always present with us. And the dancing flame reminds us that the Holy Spirit is always active and working in our lives. Well, Hoppy was worried and upset this week. He found out that he might have to go to a new school. Someone on the pond school board was talking about changing the boundaries. If that happens, Hoppy would go to a different school than his very best friend, Nathan. To Hoppy, that was a good reason to be upset and worried. Hoppy did not want to go to a new school. He was especially upset if that meant losing his best friend, Nathan. When Hoppy's mom and dad came in to say prayers with him, they could see that Hoppy was very worried. His mother took him into her arms and said, Hoppy, you don't really have to worry about this. No matter how much you worry, it will not stop it from happening. And if it does happen, God will be there. You will make new friends and everything will be fine. When Hoppy went to sleep, he knew his parents, that his parents and God were very near. In time, things do change. Life changes. People change. Even little frogs change. But the one thing that never changes is that God is always near with unconditional love and grace. By now, you know that the season for devotionals has come to an end. In the third chapter of Ecclesiastes, we read, There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. Well, it's time for Hoppy to return to retirement, but I will still be with you in the activities of the church and, of course, in worship. And even though I have loved spending time with you online in the devotionals, it is so much better to be with you in person. Would you pray with me? God, sometimes changes in life make us a bit nervous, a bit concerned. Help us to place our trust in the future of our lives and of our world into your hands, right where they belong. Help us to remember that no matter where we go, you always go with us. It's in your name we pray. Amen. See you around the church. Good morning, First Church and friends. This is Carolee Owens, your Minister of Music. This is my farewell devotional, and I want to thank you all for listening as I led you on the journey to discover the story behind some of our beloved hymns. For over a year, we studied dozens of hymns with their stories of faith, sacrifice, and courage. I want you to know I have been blessed as I shared these stories, and I hope you have been too. May we remember that when we sing words and melodies praising our Lord, we are also passing on a blessing to others. And now, I hope to see you in person or online this Sunday. Take care and have a wonderful weekend. Hi, my name is Kate Hanch. My pronouns are she and her, and I am blessed to be one of the associate pastors here at First St. Charles. Well, it's my last time with y'all for devotions, and I've so enjoyed spending time with you. Whether it's wearing silly hats for Blam, nerding out for theology, or introducing you to this stubborn cat, Sia, we've shared laughs and joys and concerns. With many changes comes many learnings, and here's three things I've learned this season. One, cultivating community is important. Even when we can't meet together, we can share our lives together. I invited 15 of my friends, including youth, college students, adults, therapists, and even my brother to participate in the devotionals. The God who is never alone will never leave us alone and brings people alongside us to help us. Two, to love others 
we must love ourselves. Our church has focused over six devotions on mental health. Mental health is important and we love you. And then three, finally, God is with us in the changes. A mentor of mine fondly says Sempris Gumby, which means in ministry, we should always be flexible like the claymation character Gumby. In our flexibility and adaptation, God is present. And now friends, I'd like to close with a blessing for you, modified from the Reverend Nora Vadras. Please close your eyes and hear these words of blessing. While so much of the road ahead is uncertain, the path constantly changing, we know some things are solid and sure. We know God is love. We know Christ's light endures. We know the Holy Spirit is there, found in the space between all things, closer to us than our next breath, binding us together until we meet again. Grace and peace, friends. Greetings in the name of the triune God who is always with us. I am Debbie Bartley, and I continue to be honored to serve as one of First St. Charles Associate Pastors. And friends, as Dr. Bart shared, our daily devotionals are drawing to a close. So I have enjoyed introducing you to all things Disney. And I thought I'd close with just a few of their isms, if you will, or life lessons. Some people are worth melting for. We can be so, so different and yet the best of friends. We're all a little ditzy and fragmented. It's okay to fall apart once in a while. We can have friends and we can be friends to just keep telling others to just keep swimming. We need to look out for those who might easily be pushed aside or thrown away. We need to practice humility and friendship is timeless. And then my newest friends, Moana, Mulan, and Tiana. Never underestimate the power of girl power or doubt your own abilities to help others to do good or to speak up for those without voices. And of course, my friend Figment, don't ever stop imagining your future or believing in God. God loves you just as you are. Remember, God created you in God's image and it doesn't get any better than that, does it? So keep a spark of imagination alive in yourself. Spend time with God in prayer and know that God is not a figment of our imaginations. Let's pray. Dear God, we give you thanks for this day, for your blessings, your unconditional love, and your grace. Help us to share your love, your grace, and be a blessing to others. And we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. So my friends, we have no idea what the future will be. But one thing is for sure, God will always be with us. So let's stay safe. Let's continue to connect with each other and continue to connect with God. And let's share God's love with everyone today, tomorrow, and every day. God bless.